welcome back to the kitchen. Today, we are going to be making homemade bouillon. For that, you will need all of your favorite vegetables, like you can see mine. In a preheated pan, add in a generous amount of olive oil. There's never too much olive oil, never hurt anybody. So, put as much as you like and add in all your vegetables. So, onion, a little bit higher. There. Garlic. Can you guess what this is? I'll give you 10 seconds. This is turmeric. In a preheated pan, add in a generous amount of oil to stir now what I have inside. And then, now, let's keep going with the rest. So, I'm going to add some ginger. Some parsley. This already smells good. Can you hear it sizzling? Some tomatoes, chewed tomatoes. This is one of my favorite vegetables. I made a mistake. Tomatoes are not vegetables, they're actually fruits. And don't you don't have to worry about your vegetables being finely chopped because we're going to blend it anyways. These are white rays. Kind of looks like yams. Do you guys know what that is? It smells so good. Now some carrots. It's a colorful rainbow. Now I'm going to add in some celery. Zucchini. Can you remember what recipe I made with this? This is huge. Lastly, leeks. Okay, so this is our last ingredient. My leeks was the last vegetable. This looks like extremely a lot of salt but you're not going to be having it all at one time. You're going to keep this for six months. So, gently add it in. That's a lot of salt. Okay, so this is, guys, I cannot mix this. It looks like my pot is a little bit too small, but we're going to cover it with a lid and check back on it in 15 minutes. Maybe then I can mix it. After 10 minutes, this is how it looks like. It smells very, very good. I'm gonna give it a quick stir. And now, I'm going to leave it boil for another two minutes, and then we'll check up on it again. This is how it looks like after another two minutes of boiling. In total, it has been 12 minutes. Give it a quick stir. And now we blend.
like a very thick sauce, as you can see. But this is exactly the texture we need. Just give it a quick taste test. Be careful because it's hot. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's good, but it's very salty. But remember, you're not going to be eating this all in one go. This is for the next six months. So this is the consistency. It's very nice and thick. Oh, this is heavy. But we're going to put it in another uh, pan and put it in the freezer for three hours or in the fridge for six hours. Beautiful. I'm spreading it out right now. It looks like a huge batter. And we're going to let it cool down before we put it in the fridge or the freezer. Guys, I decided to put some in here. I'm bringing it all in the middle. And I just had a wild idea. Why don't we put this outside? Because it's very cold outside in Switzerland. It's as cold as the fridge. So we might just put it outside. don't need any fancy wrap there we go and there you have it now we have homemade vegetable bouillon for the next six months bye